If you saw my last video, you know I talked about this solar panel, I talked about this portable power station, I was good to go, but then comes in the Rock Pals 300, which kind of changed things for me. Let's talk about it. What's up? This is I from Ask Out Solar, where I like to keep solar simple. This is the Rock Pals 300. I got it deeply discounted, and I'll talk about why this was really good. <laughs> this is a good purchase so typically a portable power station you pay about a dollar per watt hour shout out to will pros this is a roughly a 288 or so watt hour capacity battery and i got it for 170 so that's you know much less than a dollar per watt hour i couldn't pass that up plus it has a pure sine wave inverter which means when you plug your ac devices into here the sine wave is more like what you get from your house versus this choppy blocky sine wave the reason why that's important to me is you know when you have delicate electronics you have to be careful not to ruin them by giving them a modified sine wave and because i'm a budget-minded value-minded person i can't risk like causing my tv or monitor to stop working prematurely because i want to throw dirty power at it which is another thing they call it so this coming into the scene it has a higher capacity inverter i can power devices up to 300 watts Whereas like my Bodans can only do like 150. So I have more capacity with this. It charges faster, which is a key thing. My Bodans only charges at 45 watts, but this thing charges at 80 watts. I would love to be in a space where I can get a device to charge at about 150 watts, 200 watts, 250 watts. But you know, a man can dream. So I had to take the 100 watt panel that I was using to kind of over panel my Bodans, which could take 45 watts input from a 100 watt panel, because that was just wasting power. So realistically, it probably produces about 70 watts. I took my Bodans, downgraded it back to this panel right here, which is the 50 watt Renergy is probably producing about 30 watts and I put it on this thing and man, I, it was a good time. So here, here's the thing about me, why that's important. Power here in my state is relatively cheap. I would say my energy cost about eight cents a kilowatt. I have since discovered something that means that my energy probably costs a lot more. I'm still researching that, but I digress. So I don't really need power. I don't need the energy from the sun. Anything related to solar, no matter how you break it down, unless you start getting stuff used and prices are coming down constantly, it takes you years to recoup that money. My energy company charges me, let's say 10 cents per 1000 watts of power. This thing can only hold 288, 280 or whatever it is. Let's just say 300, let's round up 300 watts. You compare that to eight cents per thousand watts, then this stuff becomes like, why are you you're wasting money on it? And what I mean by that is comparatively, for a person who's not living off grid, I'm not living anywhere with like super expensive electricity. It's almost better to just use the electricity from your power company. Now, I am a person who likes to have power be available to me in the event of a power outage. So it's worth more to me than just being able to run stuff from the sun. It gives me a peace of mind to know that our phones will be charged. I'll be able to run my laptop for certain things. I can run my router and uh, still get internet as long as connectivity is maintained. I don't know if you know that, but your router, you can still get internet when you lose power. Maybe I'll do a, a separate quick video on that. So essentially what I'm saying is having power is about more than just being able to save some money. It has some other value um, propositions for me. One good thing about this particular device is it came with a 5.5 millimeter barrel plug cable, which interestingly enough remember this device charges faster than my other device and this one charges with 5.5 millimeter <laughs> barrel plug so i could essentially charge this device from this device which i thought was cool i i didn't really get into it too much because i don't know much about voltages and like i said i don't want to damage any of my devices kind of experimenting with things 
I actually broke a monitor by doing that. We'll get into that in a later video of me testing and kind of things like that. So what I was saying is I like the fact that this can pull in 80 watts off of the sun. I just like to use power as it comes in. I don't I don't care about necessarily storing power for later. That's cool. That's fine and dandy. But I, I, I live my life in such a way where I want to put whatever I can put on this power station to use that power. I want to use as much of the sun as possible. And I'll, I'll create a video about going into what I use off of this to charge it. If you like this content, you want to keep coming along this journey with me, exploring solar, but keeping it simple, hit the subscribe button or don't just let YouTube kind of show it to you. <laughs> yes, I holler.